Black Album Covers. The Black Album Cover Challenge by the Ravenous Vinyl Guru. Put a link down to her uh, channel, and this is Black Album Covers. It's gotta be mostly black. Now, you know, I cheat. We all cheat sometimes. I think she said Asia had enough, the most color you should have on an album cover. Asia by Steely Dan. I don't have that here. I do have that album, but I'm not including that. So, Mazzy's Black Album Cover Thread Challenge Submission. I'm submissing myself to you, baby. Jesse Sykes in the suite hereafter, like, love, and lust. Okay, there's other colors there, but it's black enough as far as I'm concerned. And I'm playing by, I'm playing by my own rules. The Invisible Light Acoustic Space, produced by T-Bone Burnett. It's surreal, it's electronic, it's folky, it's dirgy, it's um, beat poetry-esque. It's a mindscape, baby. Silence of the Lambs reissue. Look at that. That is black with bugs and flying shit. This is the uh, murder hornets coming. Look at that. Vinyl. Whoa, baby. Then we got Fan Dance, the great Sam Phillips, a favorite of mine. Fan Dance, one of my favorites of hers. Uh, continuing on, this is black. Nothing can't get blacker than this. The Prince's The Black Album. Without the sticker, it would be completely black. This is sort of an official, off the official, on, on again, off again bootleg of the Black Album by uh, the one and only artist formerly known as Prince as Prince. The B-sides of Beach House, the surreal, melodic, look at that, that's like maybe 90% black uh, with a pop of purple circle and a pop of green circle. Purple circle rhymes better, so Beach House on Sub Pop Records. Then we go, we continue on with Bowie's Black Star, which you showed, but I'm showing it too because it's such a great album. Then their 1968, the Chicago Transit Authority, a little blue and insert of the Chicago Transit Authority logo from 1968, but that's a lot of black. That's enough black for this. And then we're going into the great Nick Cave, black enough. I mean, he just sings black. He just sings dark, gritty, dirgy stuff, but skeleton uh, tree, the great Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, one of my favorites. That's pretty black with that pop of green tight. Black, black, black. Now, not enough black for you. I'm doing it because it's one of my favorite all-time albums is The Birds. Okay, take the type off, take this off, take the magic carpet right off. You got black, fifth dimension black. I can't get through a video without mentioning The Birds' fifth dimension album. Maybe too much gray for you, sorry, but Kate Bush, 50. Words for snow, and I'm not gonna mention all 50 words. A great posthumous release that came out last year by uh, uh, Leonard Cohen. Thanks for the dance. That's black enough with some beautiful gold textured type. More gold texture types. Gold works on black, as you know. Gold and black, nice complementary colors. You wear gold, maybe a gold uh, something with your black dress or your black shirt or your black hat. Um, consequences uh, out there. Experimental, Godley and Krem, Law, Krem and Kevin Godley, half a 10 cc, when they split off and did their gizmo stuff. And um, they should have called it 5c since it's half a 10 cc. And then I got to show a Kinks record, so I'm going with uh, Kinks Chronicles, great comp. Enough black, black and red is a nice, nice complimentary cover, color. And of course, Dark Side of the Moon, what can you say about that? Nothing. I'm not going to say anything about it. And then we got um, Roy Orbison, a comp, a Roy Orbison, black again, with gold, white, enough. Maybe not enough black for you, enough black for me. Rockin' Tours, nice pop of green, kind of a chartreuse-y, Daglo pop color green, but enough black. Is that better? Black. Back to black, baby. And then, now, a lot of white type, but, I'm, but XTC go too. Black, if you take the type, you get, take the type away, you got black. 
Neil Young has a, several black and gray records, but I'm going with this one. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Neil Young, and the Stray Gators. It's pretty black. How black can you get? Black and white photography. Some of my favorite uh, photography on album covers. Really great. And then lastly, spiritual jazz, modern spiritual spaced out jazz by Kamasai Washington. The epic. Gray tones, black tones, wonderful cover. This is a great spiritual jazz multi-record uh, three LP set to close out this with. So back to black, baby. Black is where it's at. Mazzy loves you.